In the salt drink game, you gotta put your vending machines where the people are, and what they call high traffic areas. Well, it can't get much more high traffic than this, baby. Don't oh, worry, there's enough for everyone. Did he change? Good to see you again. This little fella looks thirsty. Okay, can we get a new machine out here, please? Thank you! That was Orlando Jones in a classic ad for 7-Up, the Uncola. And this is the hook. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch, and I love the University of Texas so much that when I go to a vending machine, I only get orange soda. For the, for the obvious reasons. Speaking of vending machines, you know, back when I was a freshman at Bastrop High School, go Bears, we had a vending machine that was so busted, you'd put a dollar in and you'd get like 10 Cokes. It was really cool. Now I thought that was the coolest vending machine in the world, bar none. That is, until I met UT mechanical engineering professor, Carolyn Siepersad. You see, Dr. Siepersad and her undergraduate and graduate students have designed the Innovation Station, a free-to-use vending machine that allows UT students to 3D print just about anything they can design and or upload. Dr. Siepersad has a colleague at Virginia Tech who did something very similar, albeit somewhat less cool, a few years ago, and she was like, We have to do something like this at Texas. This is really awesome. Supported by Lyft, the Longhorn Innovation Fund for Technology, or as I call it, Lyft. The UT version of the 3D printer vending machine allows students to upload their computer drafted designs on a really cool website and when it's ready, they get a text. Then they just show up and take it out of the bin like a regular vending machine, except it's free. And it uses precisely extruded molten hot plastic instead of say, Coke. That's pretty cool, but really the question is, why do all this? We have a lot of 3D printing machines around campus. Some of them are even similar to the ones that are sort of at the heart of our station. But for any of those, you typically need access to a lab. You need a key or you need permission and things like that. Uh, for us, all you have to do is have an idea and an EID um, and you can upload it and you can print it. No doubt the machine is impressive, but diehard viewers, hi mom, know that I don't trust robots. And this sounds a lot like a robot. Convince me that 3D printing isn't evil, Dr. S. Additive manufacturing is typically the more technical term for it. Sorry, convince me that additive manufacturing isn't evil. So just to make, say, the pen that's in your pocket, if it's made out of plastic, um, there's been a mold that's been created, probably machined in metal. The plastic, the hot plastic's been injected into that mold. Uh, and the fact that you had to make that mold means that there's a lot of expense and a lot of time up front went into making that pen. If I want to make a pen like that for you on the 3D printer, if you've got the drawing, I can have it for you in a few hours, right? No tools. You want to change it up? You want one that's slightly different? You want your name on it? You want a shape that suits your hand in particular? Change up the drawing, we can print it again for you in a few hours. So where things like injection molding revolutionized mass manufacturing, 3D printing is important because it just might revolutionize custom manufacturing. And this project is built for and by students. Students, inspire me. All students have access to the machine shop downstairs, but that's completely different where you need extensive training and the materials are very expensive. Um, and it's a lot harder to create things than just being able to 3D print something. So it's just let's, let's any student or any kid just be like a maker. And this is more of a project based than, a, than an actual standardized research that most graduate students do. And for me, that was a perfect fit because that's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy making something. I enjoy starting at the concept level and taking all the way through fruition and prototyping and a finished product. And I was able to do all that with this project. Oh, and before we go, any shout outs? Of course, I want to always shout out to my wife, my beautiful wife, Hannah, and our two sons. They're coming to the grand opening. I really hope that their eyes light up and they're really excited about it as well. Me too, Josh. Me too. If you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description down below me. And speaking of links, you can see what UT golfer Jordan Spieth is up to on Twitter. Yeah, it's worth checking out. And also check out how many billions of dollars UT made in its most recent 
fundraising campaign and meet the five new 2014 Outstanding Young Texas X Award winners. Don't forget to check out the Texas X's and the All Call Day and all your favorite social media platforms. And until next time, I'm Andrew Roush. Stay hooked.